Mvipi wa say welcome back to another video in this one we will be talking about money specifically the one shilling coin here in Kenya so I'll just take you guys through the history of currency here in Kenya as well as what you can do with any one shilling note coins that you have lying around your house here in kenya so this video is going out in january which is a very dry month financially speaking for many of us so if you have one shilling coins lying around in your house by the end of this video you know exactly what to do with them so that they can be of use to you and they can stop taking up space in your house and they can be of some use so without wasting any more time let us first start with the history of currency here in kenya and be sure to subscribe to the channel as well as share the video with anyone who will benefit from this information so let us begin back in the 14th and 15th century most communities relied on butter trade as the primary form of trade so butter trade simply refers to the exchange of one good for another and in those early days given that there was no single unifying currency because kenya did not exist back then communities primarily relied on trading their surplus items for items that they did not have so butter trade had the advantage where you could easily get things that you needed by just trading things that you already produced in excess but one of the main disadvantages and limitations of butter trade was the fact that you had to find a buyer who matched with what you had so somebody who needed the surplus that you wanted to uh, get rid of and the buyer also needed to have something that was of value to you so that presented a challenge especially for traders who had bulky goods uh, so you can imagine uh, carrying bulky items and going to look for somebody who will accept those items and give you something that you actually need so butter trade had advantages and it also had quite a number of disadvantages now that form of butter trade evolved when the Arabs landed in the coastal towns of Kenya and Tanzania. So the Arabs brought about the, the trade caravans. Now with the trade caravans, this made trade more easier because you, there was a centralized location where people would go and they were able now to exchange goods with other individuals. But again, the limitation was still there for butter trade where you had to match with your buyer in terms of the goods that you were giving out and the goods that you are receiving so with this advent of the trade caravans also came about proto currencies the likes of cowry shells wire and beads and these ones just brought about the advantage that they were portable they were divisible and they were also widely acceptable which was another big limitation of butter trade so a lot of the earlier use of any defined form of currency specifically this proto currencies was restricted in the coastal regions this is simply due to the fact that the communities in the coastal towns were able to interact with traders from all over the world as opposed to communities who were inland who were only restricted in the traders that they could deal with so this limitation again was overcome by the construction of the kenya uganda railway which began in 1896 so the railway really opened up the interior of kenya and a lot of the laborers who were working on the railway were indians and at that time indians were already accustomed to using their currency the rupee so they introduced inland communities to the aspect of a unified currency which at that point was the rupee now we all know that kenya was colonized by the british 
so after the construction of the railway the british formed the east african currency board which introduced an intermediate currency called the florin this now replaced the rupee and it was used during those uh, colonial days now after kenya got independence and the central bank of kenya was established kenya now began minting its own currency the initial notes that were issued were for denominations of 5 10 20 50 and 100 shillings and for coins the ones that were issued were for 5 cents 10 cents 25 cents 50 cents and one shilling so here in front of you i have one shilling coins and these ones here are arranged in term in are arranged in terms of their release date so this note this coin here i don't know if this one can focus this one is for 1971 it's the oldest coin that i have and in front you will find sorry so in front you will find a picture of the first president is the Jomo Kenyatta. So this coin is for 1971. And yeah, finally it's focusing. The next coin, one the next one King Ashling coin here is for 19. It's not really focusing. Okay, this one is for 1975. Again, it has the face of Mze Jomo Kingata. The next one is for 1978. And it also still has the face of Mze Jomo Kingata. This next one is for 1980 and from 1980 is where we have the depiction of Daniel Torotich Arap Moy the second president of Kenya yeah. Yeah. this next one is for 1989 which also has the depiction of Daniel Arap Moy this one is for 1994 with Moy also now this one is for 1995 we also have Moy there next one is for nineteen ninety seven with Moy as well. This next one is for 19, 1998 with Moy again at the front. Then we have this newer design for 2005. I don't know if you can see so this one is for 2005 with moi again but okay so this one is not moi this one is jomo kingata then you have this one for ne for 2009 which again has kingata this next one is for 2010 with Kenyatta again and the newest one shilling coin for 2018 has no president at the front this was due to the amendments made in the constitution that banned having a president's face in the Kenyan currency so instead we have 
a giraffe and some graphic there so all these coins here are totaling to 605 shillings they do look a lot but it's only 605 shillings but that's okay money especially for january you can do some grocery shopping or transport it's money that can search you for a few days so with this money what you need to do is to present it to your local supermarket or bank you just deposit it there or you can take to them and they will exchange it for notes instead of the coins because nowadays no one uses one shilling no one shilling coins if you give somebody a one shilling coin here in kenya you know they'll look at you very strangely and it's just given how much the cost of living has gone up so you have things that most things are valued at 10 shillings and above there are very few things that you'll find for below 10 shillings so there's really no need to use one shilling coins although according to the central bank of kenya the one shilling is still legal tender here in kenya so that's why you are able to exchange it for notes through your local bank or supermarket so if you're a bit broke I encourage you to go through your house just find coins that are lying around specifically one shilling coins and just and make sure umezu kusanya just gather them and take them to your local bank and supermarket for them to exchange i'll be doing that today afternoon i'll take all these coins to my local supermarket and i will give you guys a short update okay so just a quick update i took the coins to the supermarket and they exchanged the coins for notes they gave me 600 bob i managed to take a loaf of bread a mango uh, an avocado and still have 500 shillings left over so if you have coins laying around just uh, make sure you uzikusanye just gather them and take them to your nearest supermarket or bank they'll be able to exchange the same for you for notes and you'll be good to go so that's the end of the video be sure to like and subscribe we'll be having weekly videos coming out on the channel so be sure to subscribe so that you don't miss the next one and i will catch you guys in the next one thank you so much for watching have a great day ahead and bye for now